Good morning guys and welcome back to the mountain well uber has fired up we're about to hook up the backhoe to uber again i've never done this before by myself so be a little bit of a learning curve i do have the hydraulic cylinder hanging i'm about to put this back together and get the backhoe on uber because we got a lot of stumps to dig fence lines to cut and also if it works out today with Mike's stepdad, we're going to try to take down that big old dead pine in the driveway right there. And that's a heavy, heavy tree, so I want to get some counterweight on the back of Uber. I've already got the grapple on there. So let's get this done, and uh, hopefully they'll have time to come up the hill and we can take that tree down today. All right, let's get after it. Let's see what we got here. All right, it looks like we're going to have to get the hydraulics hooked up to the tractor first. That's extended all the way down, and it's a little bit shy of being able to fit, which means that we're going to have to adjust this just a little bit right here, which we should be able to get taken care of. We're going to have to pull some of these pins here and run these back, and these right here are going to have to slide up in here somehow, as I remember. So let's go ahead and get those pulled get it lined up and see if we can get this to happen. Uh. 
Well, it's kicking my butt, as you can see from my hat. Got a whole lot of sweat going on. I cannot get the pressure to release from this little line right here. And I have tried everything I know to do. I have loosened up all of the connections here on the backhoe, trying to let it release pressure and nothing's working. And that's what's stopping me from uh, getting it done i have also decided that i'm going to go ahead and take the three point stuff off and just store it in the shed that way it's not in the way of hooking up the backhoe and pull the pins and keep everything together all right i'm going to keep trying to figure out a way to get this to release pressure it is definitely uh, making it harder than it needed to be
once I got that to be able to decompress so I could uh, get the hydraulic lines on that, that went pretty smoothly. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get it picked up so we could try to get this uh, last piston on here. Alright guys, got it all put back on. I got some hoses hanging there. I'm going to have to pull forward and fix that. But everything's working and no leaking. That's a good sign. Let's get those hoses situated so they don't get ripped out. It is nice to see the back O back on Uber. It looks like a scorpion again. Uh, she's ready to get to work, guys. I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and back up to this little stump right here and uh, give the back O a try. Make sure it's working like it's supposed to.
Well, I don't know when the camera shut off on me, but I got it. I got the hole somewhat filled in. It's a low spot right here. Gonna end up having to move some dirt around here to get this filled in. But it is so nice to have Uber back to normal with the backo on there. The backo is such a handy attachment. Uh, I still haven't heard nothing about the tree yet today, but we're not going to let that uh, deter us from keeping things going. I still have that whole trailer of telephone poles over there that I need to get unloaded, so that's what we're doing next. Let's get it. made it over to the boneyard we're gonna have to get these chains off the trailer of course domino followed me i'm sure coco ain't gonna be far behind i'm gonna pick up the back of the golf cart and kind of push it forward a little bit clear up this area here push the lawnmower out of my way to make a little bit more room so i can access both sides of the trailer and got to figure out where we want to put these they're about 16 foot i think they'll fit in between those two trees if they will i'll put them right over there at the corner of the woods line out of the way all right let's get these chains off guys it is go time it is time to take down the biggest widow maker here on come on mountain we're gonna go ahead and grab the saw some gas a little bit of safety stuff uh, and get this thing down i've been wanting to do this since i bought this property so this is huge guys this is huge all right guys we got everything we need this right here is daryl this is uh mike old drifting dreamer's stepdaddy fun fact me and him also went to school together way back in the day you know back whenever uh it was still flintstone cars and stuff like that you know way on back then uh he does this for a living been doing it for how many years About 15, years, 
15 years. So he's got about 15 years more experience than I do doing this kind of stuff. Y'all know that cutting down trees scares the booyakaka out of me. Come on. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get this area cleaned up a little bit with Uber as safely as I can. Got the turtle shell on, but there's a lot of widow makers up there. So I'm trying not to disturb the tree too much, but just clear it out a little bit, make it a little bit safer. Let's get it, I'm excited. guys the goats are over here going crazy i done gave them some fresh greens in there to eat but we got this area cleared out quite a bit i got it as much as i could around the pine tree excuse me i'm filming thank you but uh i didn't get this one right here because it's a vine going into the ground and it's wrapped all the way up there in those widow makers and i wasn't ready i'm not ready to go bye bye so i'm gonna leave that and let that go down with the tree come on <laughs> all right we're waiting on some bar and chain oil and then we'll get this done
Coco was curious. <laughs> Uncle David on the tractor now. He's about to get everything in position. My dad is still cutting over here. Now that's a notch, huh? I've never seen anyone cut a tree down this large. This is the biggest tree I've ever seen in person come down. Me too. Huh? Yeah. A hammer? When I got so far. You ready? Yep. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll grab this corner here. It's a little bit lower. All right. Ready? Yep. yep. Sturdy. That's good enough. I just oh, want to okay. make sure it's sturdy. Okay. Yeah, this ain't bad. I just don't want to cut my hose in half of that metal. Yep. That's a big boy. I'm gonna uh, reposition a little bit so I can get centered on the little Uh We put both the dogs in the cabin. Thanks, bro. Just to be out of the way. And put the goats up. Thanks, and bro. got yeah, and got the goats up. <laughs> Woo! Man, big boy trees. Just kind of look back at me and give me kind of a head nod when you want me to start pushing and I'll start easing on to it. Gotcha. Are you ready? It's about as ready as I'm going to be. The claw is in position. This nerve wracking. <laughs>
good shot, Pops. Hey. Damn. I, I, wanted to tell you, I was like, yeah, you already kind of had it up. But <laughs> well, then you, you can hear the chain, too, as soon as it started going now, the chain fr uh, freed up, you know, and you yeah. can so, like, oh, that's going now. So, so what do you think of that? Man, I've been wanting that tree down since I pulled on this property. I worry about the kids all the time walking right. This is like a main fairway for the kids, this whole road right here. And with these two widow makers here, Keeps my booyah caca puckered up all the time when I got the little ones running around here. We've already lived a, at least a half a life. Right. right. Kids ain't even got started. I don't want them to get took out by a widow and make her own come on mountain. Come on. That's right. I do. I do want to say thank you so much, pops. This was a definitely a, a worrisome thing. We've been we've been talking about taking this down since I've been here, and like he said, he's been talking about it since he first got here. So this is some extra. I'm just glad I could be here. Look at how we had that measured out too. I thought for sure the mother ones was just gonna go. Look at that. Yeah, I could just push that out of the way. Minimum cleanup necessary. Look at that. Not That's even much crazy. in the middle of the road to clean up. That bitch cut through every <clears throat> tree like butter. And mm. I was like, what? And I had a, my saw smaller than that. Huh. I had that cutting trees down like this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And that was just a chain change. That's it. I said, like, okay, we working with something. Nice. All we get is husky. Yeah. Mm. That's all that that's all buffer mess with. They don't touch nothing else. We tried steel, but I tried steel before and that's why I went husk varna because it's, I, it's, the steel's all right, but I wasn't impressed. It's yeah. one in a few. You yeah. might get one that work good and the rest of them. Yeah. They start once they break, something mess up, they're done. And they always end up leaking gas. Always. Did you already talk about coming over here? No, but wait, there's more. We're gonna cut one more down, guys. <laughs> one more that's in the walkway over here going towards the boneyard, which is another area the kids play over here a lot, riding their e-bikes and all that other stuff. And this one has got all kinds of widow makers <laughs> up in there just laying. Get you to push it on that way. That way? Yeah, we'll push it right onto the burn pile. Yeah, this one's got limbs just laying in the top of it, ready to fall out on us. Yeah. I hope that ends up on my head because where I'm pushing is going to be right there where that one's just laying. <laughs> I tell you what though, this is just another walk in the park for you, huh? <laughs> Everyday thing. I know what we really have to do is watch. I wish we could come out there. I don't have to do it. No problem.
another one bites Duster. Come on. Come on. Well, that one right there is right by the burn pile. <laughs> you ain't even got to cut it up. <laughs> Yep, yeah, exactly. Out of the way, kids are safe. I'm happy. Well, guys, I'm going to show y'all here in a minute uh, the aftermath of all of this, and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. It has been a jam packed day today here on Come On Mountain. I want to give a big shout out to Daryl right here. Uh, appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. <sighs> it's funny, we ain't seen each other in 20 years. And, uh,. <laughs> I done got him to drop the two most dangerous trees on my property. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's love right there, guys. That's love. I'll see y'all here in a minute. All right, guys. Let's start with the small one that we just took down. It was still pretty solid. You can see where it's kind of rotten on the end. But it is a good-sized tree, guys. It goes all the way over there to the burn pile. So now I can just start chopping it up and pushing it up in the burn pile with uber couldn't have did it any better absolutely love it now this one here this is the big boy and the cool thing about it is only a couple of pieces are in the road that i need to clean up with uber right yeah yeah mike jump on top of it for scale Give y'all some scale. <laughs> nice. Yes. And look at this. You want one now? Look how big. The, yes. And half of this thing was rotten. It was only a matter of time before this one came down. Yeah, that was. Man. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Everything's rotten on this thing. Yeah, guys, this right here is massive. Look, check this out. I'm 6'2". And look how big it is to me. That's insane. It would have took both of us to stand to put our hands around this oh, tree. Oh, yeah, it was. Biggest pine on the property. And it was dead, dead, dead. All right, guys, that's going to be about it for this one. I am tired. Mike, appreciate you, brother. Ah, always something here on the mountain, guys. Let's go on another adventure. Mm -hmm.